Hi, and welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode, we look at the basic functionality of Python. So now that we've downloaded and installed it, when we click on our Start menu and we go into All Programs, we'll see we have a folder called Python now. Um, we can either open up Python at a command line, which means it'll accept one command at a time. So we can do things like print hello world inverted commas close brackets and as we see it'll print out hello world for for us we can also go into what's called uh, if we want to create a series of commands we need to go into what's called an IDE or interactive development environment so for Python the IDE is called the one we look at is idle Python is named after the comedy um, group Monty Python, and Idle is named after Eric Idle. So Idle looks very much like Python. We can still do the exact same kind of things. We can print hello world again. But as we can see, it will color things for us now, and it shows that the brackets match each other. And it shows output in blue and strings in green, and that helps us a little bit. If we want to write multiple commands, we can just go File, New File, and we can start writing a program. So it could be Program, Program, Hello World. And let's print and we see again how it gives us nice colors and lets us know that this is um that we've matched all the brackets up. So we'll save this in our Python folder, Python thirty four we'll call it hello world dot py it will take care of that now if we want to run it we just do run module what happens it prints out hello world if we change that hello world to hello everyone and we save it and then we go to run and run module it will print out hello everyone so that's your basic levels of interaction with Python. You can either put the commands in directly at the command line, or you have your IDE, or Interactive Development Environment, in this case called IDLE, that allows you to write programs here, and then um, run them, and see the output in the shell. So thanks very much for that. We'll see you on the next episode.